The reason for the sudden change of venue that forced Hawaii County Democrats to scramble for a new location is beginning to make headlines. The annual convention is held in a different district on the Big Island every year. Last year it was Honoka'a. The year before it was Kona. This year was Puna's turn and organizers plan to hold the event at the Kilauea military camp called KMC by most. Big Island Video News filmed the event that was held there in 2009. But this year, a last-minute determination by the U.S. Department of the Army, who has authority over the camp located within the Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, sent the Democrats packing. A public affairs officer told online news website Civil Beat that the event was not the type that was authorized in the Department of Defense facilities, saying it was political in nature. Event organizers countered that it was an open meeting that involved lively forums and discussion from both sides of the issues, but the argument was of no use. Luckily for the Democrats, the Volcano Art Center was available for a last-minute booking. Governor Neil Abercrombie was on hand, and he said he was impressed by the organizers and their ability to shift gears at the 11th hour. Isn't, it fa isn't this great, by the way? The Volcano Art Center. Frankie, where's Frankie? Can everybody give Frankie a big hand for, for being able to... Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. But, uh, I mean, talk about the coconut wireless. I, it never could have worked this, this well in, in, in days of yore. Of course, the convention was not that's, that's devoid sure. of political so, rhetoric. Uh, Much of it came from the governor himself today, while he addressed the crowd. I guarantee you right now, the Republican Party in this, in, in, in this state right now, they couldn't put five people together in a room. <laughs> And I don't say that, I don't say that to gloat. I'm not, a I, 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 little bit. <laughs> teeny, teeny, tiny. Good. What I, what, the reason I, what I say it is, is, is that when you're responding to a special interest that becomes a private interest, you're not going to get the people of Hawaii to respond. That's right. We've got the whole spectrum of opinion in here. Believe me, I know. <laughs> Believe me. That's all right, because that's what the Democratic Party does. We have it out. We get it out. And then when it's, when it's done, we try, to, we try to move forward as best we can, bringing whatever abilities, whatever capacities, whatever commitment that, that we have. But our principal commitment is to each other here in paradise. That's what it's all about. We've had to make some tough decisions. We've had to make and face some hard choices. But I think we, and I'm emphasizing we, we've made the right decisions, the right choices for Hawaii and its future. I promised everybody, I promised everybody in this room for sure, that if I had the opportunity to, to become governor, that you'd get energy and you'd get action from me. The energy's there, I can tell you that. It's scary to me sometimes. <laughs> I keep thinking, aren't I supposed to get tired, you know? But it's coming, just like coming here today, I get re-energized. I really do. The fact that everybody is here today, I keep thinking, man, I, I've, I've got to reflect that commitment. I've got to be just as determined. I've got to be just as committed. I've got to be just as focused as you are. Every one of you in this room today could be somewhere else doing something else and doing something valuable. Don't get me wrong. I understand that. Everyone in this room probably is the, I know, is the kind of person that other people turn to, no matter how busy you are, no matter how many commitments you have, because they know they can count on you to try, to reach out. Okay, one more time. I'll do that. I have no doubt that even today, some of, maybe even your own family said, geez, you're not going to that Democratic Party stuff again, are you? I mean, what, doesn't it end? Right? Really, seriously, I know that. So, so it's not that I feel a duty. I mean, I think it's an honor. You hear that from, from elected officials, an honor and a privilege. But it is. It's an honor and a privilege to be able to speak with you, to count you as allies and friends and partners. And I'm going to do everything I can to be worthy of it. But forgive me my, my shortcomings and, and, and my failures. I, I, I know that I have them. Teeny tiny little view. <laughs> 
As you know, humility is one of my strong features. <laughs> On the other hand, I'm looking at some of the people in this room. Humility is not necessarily one of your strong features either, you know. Okay. I think we've got a chance to establish a new sense of confidence throughout the state now that we've, now that we've stabilized, if you will. And so that means there's a lot of work to be done. There's a lot of work to be done here, a lot of work to be done across the, the country. We need to reach out, not just to ourselves as Democrats, but maybe on this social media side of things, reach out to Democrats all across the country and say, it's time to reassert the basic values and, and get people into office who are going to reflect those, those values. Not in everything. Nine out of 12 is good. I, I, I'm for that kind of thing. And we'll leave the rest of the psychiatrists. But I will tell you, on that score, that's where I think the GOP, the Republicans are falling down. If you're not with them on every single issue, at every single nuance, and every last feature of what they're saying, you get drummed out of the, out of the family. You're shoved out of the town. You're, you're in Coventry. You're on the edge of, of the encampment. You, you, don't, you can't come in the door. That's not us. That's not us. That's not who we are. We're Democrats and we're for Hawaii. Aloha, mahalo, thank you very much. This is Big Island Video News for Wednesday, May 22nd, 2013. I'm Stephanie Salazar.